Hello my streaky lovelies, welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, I already pre-shuffled some cards. Let's hop right on into this read, okay, before we start our live. Because I still have to talk about the story that um, I presented to you guys early this morning. So, I was using the Hidden Truth. And these three cards was in the deck. So I'm like, well, just let me channel this and see what's going on. And what I'm channel channeling is give your relationship a chance right here. Work on your partnership, okay? Whether it's love, whether it's something that you desire to have, relationship, friendship, situationship. Like, work on your partnership within it with a particular person that is very attractive to you and they are you are attracted to them you know work on your partnership with someone that will support you and challenge you okay and it also say keep an open mind here okay um your soul may may differ from your usual type okay your usual type and expectation so this person as you can see is two girls up in here and two angels and he's like okay this girl probably he he trying to work on his partnership and he might feel like this girl i you know got some similar similarities of someone old from the past but this one kind of standing out but you have the angels right here i don't know the angel, she looking at the angel like this angel like look you can pick her or this angel like or or you want her okay he want to work on his partnership to the point look look a baby is involved he let go of control issues he kept an open mind he made a choice let go of control issues and he allowed the situation to unfold naturally now he got a family that's what i'm seeing that's exactly what I'm saying. You see how the angels are supporting him in his choices? The angels are guiding him in his choices on his partnership, right? So, he, and he just admired about how he let the situation unfold naturally because he wanted to work on his partnership. So, at the bottom, right? At the bottom right here is... What um, The bottom is what I pull from the back, and at the top is the message from the front. So what we don't see coming is this person, look, it's a man. This I'm going to say, it's a man. I see a man here, a man there, and a man right here. So he is afraid to contact you. He's afraid to contact you, and I feel like you are contacting him. As if you want to work on this partnership, this, you see how they holding each other? Because you are attracted to him. You want to work on this partnership. This is not for him. This go for other people, okay? He's afraid. Stop screaming. He's afraid to contact you. He's afraid to contact you. And he like, your soulmate. Your soul may may differ from your usual type and expectation. And most people, okay, if 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 you are trying to work on your partnership and you see someone that you like and attract to, I feel like you are giving the signs. You are waiting for a sign from them for them to step into their power to work on their partnership. That's why Spirit said they need to let go of control issues so they can allow this situation to unfold naturally. Okay, give it a chance. They over there waiting for a sign from you, and you over there testing your ass off. They over there replaying the conversation all by their damn self. Re going, going through the text message and shit. They know you want them, and they over there just, ooh, okay, all right. So here at the top, at the top of the message is what's, what's to come after he done let go of control issues. This, 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 okay. Now he making a move. He said, you, you, he, I feel like he don't gave the partnership. He working on his partnership. And he's saying now, he's saying now for, for, for stability. Thank you, spirit. Sit down. Sit down. He's saying, you were the, 
You were the best thing that happened in my life. Hold on, y'all. I ain't even got no pants on, and she she got me getting up. Hush your mouth. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> this is so inappropriate, y'all. Please forgive me. I I did not expect to get up. Oh my god. Anyway. Oh, Jesus. He gave his partnership. He working on his partnership, right? And now he, he let go of control issues. This message, this is what he's saying now. You were the best thing in my life. Now, he kept an open mind, right? He said, I want to be more than friends. And look. He want to be more than friends. It's, they look like a family dynamic. But... As well, he, he said, let go of control issues. Just being near you is in, intoxicating. He still needs to work on himself. He probably being near you is intoxicating because look, you a mother. You are in your own element. You have to take care of your own your, your children. Okay, I just didn't understand that part right there, collector. I just, I don't, let me clarify, just being near you is intoxicating. What is the message for that? Well, he said, I couldn't let you get close to me. You speak through me through music. And I remember every detail of that day. I feel like it's just an immature ass male. I just feel like it's just an immature ass male. This shit just blow me. The reading was getting so good. You see how intoxicating this shit was? Because this is like a mind fuckery. They just like a slap in the motherfucking face. How the fuck can we get all the way to this point, to a family dynamic, because you kept the open mind about the situation, because you wanted to work on your partnership for whatever reason that, that it was, then you intoxicated. That, that's just fuckery, y'all. I just had to channel this. And wasting my goddamn time. Apparently, I couldn't let you get close to me. Well, you should have stayed your ass where the fuck you was at. What's wrong with you? You speak through me. You speak to me through music. Let me find a song. I don't fuck with you. You little stupid ass nigga ain't fucking with you. That's how I feel. You little dumb dumb nigga ain't fucking with you. You remember every you remember every detail of that day? When you I bet you do go all the way back when you said you want to work on your partnership, you weak minded mother sucker. That it's just all for play. It's all for game with most of these people. It's just all for games, y'all. It's, it's, it's story time. They just wasting my energy. Real talk. With that, like, mm -mm, let the past be the past. And whoever be whoever. Nobody don't have time for that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Look, I want you. I replay. I come stay in your motherfucking head. You t intoxicated motherfucker. Stay in your fucking head. Motherfucker don't even know how to come and approach you. That's ooh we. They just ooh we. Most people don't even know how to come and approach you. They waiting for a sign for you, but waiting for a sign for you so they can say you approach them with all of this. But they was the main one who wanted the shit. Okay, put your money where your mouth at. Talk that shit. Talk that shit. Ooh, if this resonate with y'all situation. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to put some bottoms on because I just got a spouse. <laughs> Boom. I love you guys. Stay up until next time. And don't let these motherfuckers, okay, um, mind fuck you, okay, because they intoxicated on some other shit within their mind. I don't know what it is, but it, it, it's not that. It's not for us to be wasting our fucking time. Stay up, collective.